guys, what is up? It is Ivy Concrete Catwalk. Those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I love all things thrift, vintage, new, nearly new, estate sailing, sailing, you name it, I love it to my catwalk. Mwah! Welcome back to a new video this Sunday. If those of you who are newly subscribed, thank you so much for coming along together on this journey. I am doing a what's in my bag, but this is a throwback addition if you've watched a couple of my past videos i had some mark jacobs bags that i rediscovered and i started carrying those bags again mark jacobs has done some reintroductions all of that aside this is a bag that i have had a part of my collection that i actually totally forgot about i'm just gonna jump right into this so you guys can one see the bag with everything in it see what i'm carrying around as of late I'm gonna give you my feelings about the bag if you're interested in some of the older Marc Jacobs thick chewy leather bags that happen to be out there on the resale market. This is the bag, a shoulder Sophia, two push pockets at the front. When you wanna grab a bag and you don't want a whole lot of stuff in it, there is a tote bag version of this. I am going to start with the push pockets. Open these both up. In this first pocket, a lighter I carry with me faithfully from a friend of mine's business. This is something that they gave me and I love it. The next that's in here, a Chanel Gentle Oil. This is something that I received from a purchase that I made at Chanel. You can screenshot it if you're interested in it. In the push pocket, two hauls. About a month and a half ago, I was really sick and I needed those. Okay. That brings me to the zipper part at the front of the bag. And in this is a Chanel compact. This is a two-sided mirror. One is magnified, one is normal side. Go on Chanel's website, I believe this is about $35 or $45. It is well worth it. It's a little bit of luxury you can slide into your purse. Okay, moving on this is a zipper compartment in here. I'm going to show you so you can see. And in that zipper compartment, I keep my big Chanel blush brush. I love this, you guys. This is like the biggest brush that Chanel has to offer. I think this was about $58 if you're interested in it. You may want to see if they still have it. We don't gatekeep here, so I'm just sharing with you if you're interested in it. It comes in the velvet case in case you want to carry it around like I do. Next, in this center pocket is my car key. And I think that's it. That's all that's here. Okay, so we are going to get into the main compartment of the bag where we have the magnetic closure. This is the reach part where when this is on your shoulder, this is the compartment you'd want to be able to get into. First up is this diamond lip balm. Got this from the dollar store if you're interested. A zip pouch from Harrods. A blush powder. I don't use this often, but if you're interested in this, the Dollar Tree sells this. I would highly recommend this. If you want to screenshot it, do that. Lotion, this is my favorite. You guys, from a couple videos ago, you know I picked this up. This is the Fresh Pink Peach Hand Cream. Absolutely love this. A cash check. A lip balm, one of the round balms that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is notorious for having some of the most interesting lip balms, and I love to get these little round ones from there. Okay. My Negheti small pouch that came in my large Negheti tote. Moving on, I have some blotting paper. This actually works really well and I like the cleanliness with it. So when you need a pad, you just press down, one gets stuck on and you just go from there. This is a lifesaver, I really like that. Last thing that's in the center part here is, you guys know I do not move without my LV agenda. This LV agenda, I love. Okay, so the center compartment on this bag is clean. Before I continue on with it, the zippy pouch inside that I use that comes out of my Nagetti. This thing is so awesome, but without focusing on this, I'm just gonna let you know what I have in here. Gum, my RFID credit card holder, my Chanel card case, some loose money, my flying saucer, a zippy pouch, just coins are in here. Plastic total hydration, strongly recommend that you get this. There's a comb in here, a blush jelly for your cheeks, a little bit more money, 
And that is all for that. And it fits very nicely in this center part. And I like things that I can just stick inside and go from there. That completes the center part. For the back part, there's a back zipper part that you can close that is behind the magnetic closure that is in between the zip compartment that's at the front of the bag. Moving to the back in this zipper compartment, I have, now you guys know, I found a USB charging cable that looked like a little coffee latte with a heart on the front. And I said at the time, and I believe this is like three videos ago, that I wish I would have bought the one that had the little avocado on it from the Dollar Tree. Okay, you guys, listen. This is a sidebar. If you go into the Dollar Tree and you find this, I, I cannot believe I found this in the Dollar Tree. This little USB avocado I am obsessed with. If you have a Dollar Tree, run, don't walk, and get this. Okay, next to last thing that I have in my Marc Jacobs Sophia shoulder bag, a pair of sunglasses. These are Dior aviators. Remaining thing that's in here is just some loose change. Let's get into it about this bag. Inside of this bag is a reddish pink suede lining. The zippers are thick and sturdy both of them the one that's at the back and the one that's at the front of the bag and then of course the push pockets that are amazing now mind you the sides allow for adjusting so i think you can go from all the way at nine the shortest probably about seven inches on shoulder drop but let me just say this about it having had this bag as long as i've had it the softness to this is incredible the wear to the leather has been incredible. How well the metal components, the push components, the zip components has held up has been incredible. The only drawback to not carrying this bag as often, one, has been the normal thing. Other bags come in, you begin to carry other bags, you lose sight of some things that you have in your wardrobe, but then when you circle back around and you find them again, you start carrying it. But the realization is this is not a big bag. This is somewhere in between medium to small medium sized bag. And this bag can take essential essentials and then a little teeny bit else. Are you gonna be able to get shoes in here? No, are you gonna be able to slide some flip flops in here? You might, you may be. But the more you pack this, the less likely you are to be able to shut this bag easily i'm gonna get up so that you can see the whole idea of the bag is to have a smooth look and the bag does do that if you don't overpack it at the moment with all of the things that are going on with mark jacobs the grunge movement again the tote it is nice to have something that is a little outside of the popular bags that people are going after if you are interested in looking for Marc Jacobs back in the day handbags, especially from the Marc Jacobs line. Go out to Fashion File, Estier Collective, even go out to Mercari, because a lot of times the offerings on these, and I wanted to price it out to see what they were going for. You can find these as low as $30, $20, $50. Depends upon the condition, depends upon the seller. They are at reasonable price points, but I will say I am starting to notice the creep up on these types of bags. People are looking at the hardware, the simplicity of it goes in line with what the what things are of the moment. And if you get it, you get it, you understand. Where things aren't screaming what they are, this bag does that very nicely. There you have it. That is what's in my throwback Marc Jacobs Sophia bag. If you have any questions about any of my older Marc Jacobs bags or this bag in particular or any of the things that I showed you, let me know in the comments below your thoughts. Let me know if there are any other bags that you would like to see me talk about that I have in my collection or ask if I have any in my collection, we can do that too. If you do not want to miss out on anything that I post, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I post videos every Sunday, so if you do not want to miss out, tap that and you'll receive notifications each time 
I post a new video. Links to my socials will be in the description box below. You can head on over to Poshmark. Check out my closet. I am Concrete Catwalk on Poshmark. If you see anything there, please feel free to DM me there or you can head on over to IG. I'm at Catwalks Concrete on IG. Feel free to message me there as well. Thank you so much for stopping by this week. Be safe. See you all next Sunday. Bye for now.